So yesterday we have discussed actually uh, the design of CPU in modern was proposed by John Van Neumann. So in whatever uh, the previous diagram we have seen, that is also a Van Neumann machine diagram and his colleague for the IAS computer. And this diagram is for the IAS computer. So the IAS computer, one new man, actually it was initially, it was developed, which having minimal number of registers along with the essential circuit. So because of the minimal number of registers, only essential circuits are there. It is easy to understand the architecture of the computer, how the different components are connected, how these components are working. Briefly, we will discuss about all these components. Already we have discussed yesterday. But again, we will recapitulate. Uh, okay, so accumulator we have discussed. Data register, DR. Actually, it acts a buffer. It is a, uh, in our previous diagram, its name is a memory buffer register. Why? Because it is like a buffer storage in between memory and the CPU. So it is like a buffer storage in between the memory because it is connected with the memory and the CPU. In this diagram, you can easily understand here. See? This is like a buffer in between memory and a CPU. So it is a buffer storage, MBR. And here name is DR, data register. The next one is that is a program counter, PC, this PC. Actually, PC contain the address of next instruction to be executed. PC holder next address, that next instruction will, will be executed. And so, and that address will Uh, am I audible? Okay, thank you. So, uh, uh, we were discussing about the instruction register, IR. IR hold the current instruction. So, we have seen here, this PC, Program counter hold the next instruction, MAR hold the current instruction, that instruction will going to execute and this instruction will load it into the IR. So instruction register hold the current instruction. Memory address register, it provide address of memory location where the data is to be retrieved or which data is to be stored. So as I discussed earlier, after the execution, this MAR provide the address where to store the data and that and the same data after execution, the result will be loaded into the MBR and from the MBR, uh, as per the address, the data will store at the respective location. So all these components are very simple. Comparatively, uh, this diagram, you can easily understand overall structure, how actually your instruction is executing. So in today's topic, we'll, we'll discuss about how properly stepwise your instruction execute and how the result will store into the memory. So was, uh, yesterday we have discussed about uh, how the execution, uh, the program execution done in one human machine. Uh, the first step we have seen like uh, in, uh, PC, as we discussed earlier, PC, uh, point to the instruction, that instruction will go into page, right? And the same instruction loaded into the MAR. So PC is nothing but uh, the holding address, the address of instruction that uh, will go into page. So for example, PC holded 
the instruction number one. So we consider the instruction number one. So that instruction loaded into the MAR, and after loaded into the MAR, PC incremented by one. That's why here you could see incremented point to the next instruction. Now the PC is pointing to the next instruction, instruction two, and MAR hold instruction number one. So the same concept, how actually the PC incremented, as said we have seen PC plus one, zero plus one. Until and unless if there is no special instruction like a jump, always it incremented by one. The next, uh, this concept also we have discussed yesterday, that is fetching an instruction. Suppose as we discussed earlier, PC holded instruction number one, and it is loaded into the MAR. Now MAR hold instruction number one and the PC hold instruction number two. Now the MAR uh, hold the address of instruction number one. So here is the address of instruction number one. So uh, this read signal generated and this uh, uh, address uh, sent to the main memory and as per the address, the this, uh, according to the address, the data loaded into the data bus. And that data will store into the buffer, that is MBR, memory buffer register or the data register. So MAR provides the address, and as per the address, the data loaded into the data register. So up to this topic we have discussed yesterday. Now the next one is, that is execution of instruction. If you, uh, Look here, how much we have completed PC holding a instruction, it is transferred to the MAR and it is incremented by one. And then MAR uh, send uh, the respective address to the main memory. And this main memory, whatever the instruction is there, that instruction loaded into the MBR, that is data register. Up to here we have discussed. Now, the next one is execution of instruction. The next is execution of instruction. So here we have seen how actually the instruction executed. Whatever data loaded into the MBR, because here holding an address and here MBR is holding a data. The data loaded into the IR, instruction register. And the same data, that instruction plus data, loaded into the execution unit and execution unit execute the instruction the same thing here you could see instead of mbr the name is here data register so whatever the data loaded into the data register data register send the same data into the ir or you, you can say loaded the same data into the ir after uh, now the data means your instruction plus data, instruction plus the address of operand loaded into the IR, the same instruction loaded into the execution unit. Now the execution unit will execute the instruction and perform the different types of action. What kind of action uh, the execution unit could perform? Like CPU to memory data transfer, right? CPU to memory data transfer or memory to CPU data transfer or CPU to input output data transfer or maybe some arithmetic operation or logical operation, right? This type of operation could be performed. So actually uh, instruction or data in a memory also you have seen in your main memory is divided into parts like instruction and data. But actually for the memory, it is only the bits, zero and one. For memory, memory, it is not concerned like this is an instruction, this is a data. It is only the holding zero and one. So we can say it is like here, these are the instruction and these are the data. So actually, if it is an instruction, here you can understand, if it is an instruction, the format of the instruction is like, here, four bit, the first four bit is for the opcode, operation code, that is opcode, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So here, how many bits are available? Four bit available. So by the four bit, how many combination you can create to place to four? 
2 raised to 4 means 16, right? So different 16 operation. Different 16 operation provided in the von Neumann machine. Actually, this is uh, the hypothetical machine by which you can understand. If it is, there is a 16 bits and a four bit representing operation code. So how many instruction uh, you can provide? 16, because two is to four, this 16. And the remaining, uh, uh, remaining bits around 12 bit is for address of operand. Address of operand. Because if you want to add A and B, so A and B, the address get from this remaining 12 bit. If it is data. So how the data stored into the computer? So for the data, if it is suppose 16 bit representing a data. So from the 16 bit, the first one bit represent a sign bit. Because for the we have to inform to the computer this is a positive number or negative number, right? So one bit is one bit represent a sign bit. Either it is positive or negative. You can say like very easy to understand. For example, if it is uh, positive, uh, the sign bit is zero, and if it is negative, the sign bit is one, right? By this way, we can easily identify the number is positive or negative. So in this way, actually data, we store the data. And here, by this way, we store the address, the instruction format. Okay. The same thing uh, we'll see here, whatever we have discussed up to this point, practically we'll see how actually your data loaded into the uh, uh, M M MBR memory buffer register and then it is loaded into the IR and how it is executed and after execution how the result will store into the memory. So whatever steps we have discussed here, we'll, dis we'll see all the steps practically. Like Z is equals to X plus Y. For example, this is our instruction. Now here, uh, your a plus is your addition operation and uh, is equal to, is we can say it is the assignment operation. So here, uh, the first step, which if the first step we have to perform that is load x into the accumulator. So first we have to load this x value into the accumulator. Then we have to add y value with the accumulator value. So add a y to accumulator. And then store the content of z in accumulator. So whatever the result is there, uh, in accumulator will store that result into the main memory. Okay, so here address of X, Y, and Z. So here you can understand, for example, we are assuming this is the address of X, this is the address of Y, and this is the address of Z. Bits are there, this 12 bits, Now am I audible? Okay, thank you, thank you. Meanwhile, actually I was, I got a call. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, so as we have seen these 12 bits represent the address. So these 12 bits representing the address of X. In hexadecimal, we can write like the value of value is four. One, two, four. So four H hexadecimal. Here the value is one, two, four. So one plus four, that is five. Five hexadecimal. Here it is one, two, four. Two plus four, that is six. Six hex. So in hexadecimal, and this is in the binary. So 12 bits in hexadecimal, we can represent into the hexadecimal number. Now, we have seen the instruction format. Here we have seen the instruction format. 
that is the first four bit is for the operation code and the remaining 12 bits for the address now here the operation code this four bit to represent the operation code so triple zero one the one meaning is what load accumulator with x triple zero one meaning is load accumulator with x so these are the four bit and this is the address that is a 12 bit so if you combine both the thing here you can write like this value is in hexadecimal it is a one and here it is four so one zero zero four hexadecimal right so because why actually i am discussing here because in example we are running one zero zero four here one means what load your data load accumulator with x so you are x data loaded into the accumulator this is the meaning of one and 004 this is an address at 004 the x value is stored the second is 0010 so one two so here the operation code is two so two is here and this is one plus two one two four four plus one that is five so here five so this 005 this is the address and 2 is what that is the op code that is the operation code now what is the meaning of 2 2 means add y to accumulator then add the second value to the accumulator this is the meaning of 2 and third 1 plus 2 that is a 3 so here operation code is a 3 so in hexadecimal you could see here 3 and this is the address that is 006 hexadecimal okay 3006 Okay, so I hope you understood up to here. This is a simple operation code and meaning is what? Stored accumulator in Z. The meaning of three. So this is op code, operation code. Means what is the meaning of this operation code? Here, this is the meaning of operation code. And this is the address for the operand. And in this way, uh, this is the instruction in hexadecimal. So actually your computer execute instruction in binary because your computer can understand only the binary one and zero so actually how your instruction represented the computer it is represented in binary form this is like this is a this is the address here you will find all the uh, uh, your numbers in the binary and again your operation code is again in the binary okay now here you can visualize whatever we have discussed up to uh, this topic like here for example this is our memory and this is the address of the memory and here uh, these are the three re registers are there this is a pc program counter this is a ac accumulator and this is ir instruction register so initially we were discussed like uh, 001 so pc hold the address of first instruction so PC hold the address of first instruction that is 1004, right? So then the PC send uh, instruction to the MAR, MAR loaded the instruction into the MBR and MBR to the IR, right? These steps we have discussed. Now here 1004 loaded into the IR instruction register, right? 1004 loaded into the IR and this pc incremented by one so initially it was zero zero one so after increment uh, it became zero zero two so here it zero zero two and one zero zero four executed and meaning of one is what load data x data into the accumulator so this is a one meaning so this ir loaded this instruction to the execution unit execution unit decode the instruction and he the meaning of one is load the data into the accumulator so at the memory location 004 this is the address of uh, memory location where the data is there whatever data at the memory location 004 that data is loaded into the accumulator now we'll see in the memory 004 this is a address at this address 0005, this data is there, that data loaded into the accumulator. 
so the same thing whatever we have discussed up to this point we have to apply all our discussion here you can easily understand is here the 001 this is incremented by 1 that is 2 accumulator is holding address of 004 at 004 there is a data this data loaded into the accumulator and one meaning of one is loaded data into the accumulator at address 004 now this step completed now second third step is what so 002 pc holding a next instruction that is 002 so this instruction will be executed Voice break, uh, voice break issue for everyone, or this issue for few students only. Okay, I have to switch my network. Huh? Just a minute, wait. Now check, still voice breaking. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I hope, do you understand up to this point? Do you have any doubt here in this diagram? If you have doubt, you can ask me here only. Because uh, today from the participants, one student have to explain whatever we have discussed in this diagram, okay? Because this is important. So if you have doubt here, ask me. Anyone have doubt? Did you understand? Because whatever we have discussed in theory part, the same thing we are looking in this diagram. No doubt, shall I continue? Okay. So 002, so PC holding a next instruction that is 002. So at 002, there is a next instruction that is 2005. So obviously this 2005 loaded into the IR here, instruction register. Then the instruction register decode the instruction. And what is the meaning of two? The meaning of two add value of Y into the accumulator. And what is the value of Y? So at 005, this is the address of value Y. So we'll check this is a value by 005. So what is the value in hexadecimal? Triple zero A. All numbers are in hexadecimal. So triple zero A. So this A will be added with the 5. And in the next step here, this PC incremented by 1. So earlier it was 2, now it became 3. And this 002, 002, 2005 loaded into the IR. This 2005 loaded into the IR. And this IR send data to the execution unit, execution unit decode the meaning of 2, the meaning of 2, and whatever at this address, uh, whatever the value at this address will be added into the accumulator. So earlier, this value was 5. Here the value is 5 and this is a A. So A plus 5 in hexadecimal became F. Right? A, B, C, D, E, F. If you will add 
5 in A, you will get the answer F. So here in accumulator, you got the answer that is triple zero F. Now the PC holding a next instruction that is 003. Now this 003 instruction loaded into the IR. So in the next step here, you could see this 3006 instruction loaded into the IR. Now the instruction register holding a this 3006 instruction. Now, the what is the meaning of three? Meaning of three is load accumulator result into the location, whatever specified into the instruction. Which location specified into the instruction that is 006. So this data loaded at the location of 006. So here 006, this location. Earlier it was empty. But here now at 006, this triple zero F value loaded. Right? So these are the steps. How actually uh, the instruction executed? So did you understand? So I want to ask Okay. Uh, did you, students, kindly acknowledge? Do you understand? Did you understand this topic? All the D2D students acknowledge here in through the chat box. Did you understand this topic? I want responses from all the 2D students. The 2D students. I got only two response. And around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven D two D students were present. Out of seven, only two students responded. Okay, one. Now four. Lavanya saying some what? Okay, Lavanya. So. Did you understand this example? I will unmute you. Now tell me how much you could understand. Okay, Lavanya? Okay. Uh, four responses. Am I audible? Because according to Lavan, I'm I'm not audible. Am I audible?
Okay, so if you have any doubt, any query, even all the today students, if you are not understanding the CAO, you first watch all the lectures, whatever I have uploaded. Whatever I have uploaded on YouTube. Okay, so that you can properly understand because almost we have completed the unit, only, only the last two topics are remaining. uh actually uh, this all the links i have i have uploaded on moodle uh all i i think d2d -D students are not aware about the moodle rcpit dot online if you visit rcpit dot online uh, you can access a moodle through moodle we conduct a test as well we share all type all material through moodle only like ppt uh, our uh, books, uh, whatever the notes are there, all the study material Moodle. So you can refer all this material from the Moodle. So the two D students, if you don't know about the Moodle, you can ask Ishi sir. Uh, he will help you about the Moodle if you want the study material. Or otherwise, if, uh, if it is not possible for you, you can search my name, Sachin Pardeshi uh, and Shirpur. If you will search by this name on YouTube, you will get my channel in which I have uploaded all the lectures. I think for the first unit, I have uploaded six lectures. And for the seven, uh, second unit, I have uploaded around five lectures. So. If you the lectures, it will be very helpful for you to understand our next topic. Otherwise, this subject is very simple. But if you understand it properly, first watch all the lectures, so it will help you. Okay? So these two topics are remaining, that is structure of program in which we were in the structure of program we'll see the difference between machine level language assembly level language and a high level language. because actually this kind of uh, instruction you haven't seen in c or any other language even so actually whatever we are discussing here that is about the machine level machine level how the instruction is represented how operation have done uh, so whatever our discussion is for at the machine level about this machine level there is assembly language bow assembly language again you will find there is a higher level language again in the higher level language there is a different generations are there so we'll see the dif different structure of assembly language uh, then the in introduction of risc and cisc processor the characteristics of RISC and CISC processor, the difference, and the assembly language. So, only two topics are remaining from unit number two. So, we'll cover these two topics in next week. Okay, and very soon I will upload uh, a test on Moodle. So, you have to solve the test on time. 
this time i will not reschedule the test hmm? so whatever time uh, after unit number 2 i will upload a test on unit number 2 and you have to set a reminder on your mobile phone do whatever you can but you should attempt a test on time only don't ask me to reschedule a test like unit number 1 okay so we'll stop here uh so the students if you have any doubt you can ask me and the students those who understood today's topic they can leave the session because the session is over and if you have any doubt you can ask me i am here for next 5 minutes okay the session is over you can leave the meeting and if you have doubt you can ask me i am here for next 5 minutes